the game could be changing for Florida's high school athletes. Right now, Florida is one of 16 states that does not allow high schoolers to be paid for their name, image, and likeness, something college athletes are now able to do. But the State High School Athletic Association is considering changing that. WEAR Sarah Gale spoke with parents about the benefits and their concerns. The Florida High School Athletic Association is asking the public for their opinion on NIL deals for high school athletes. There's a lot of people that are against the NIL stuff in college and, and now probably in high school. There's a lot of people that are probably have an argument against it. I have an argument for it. Josh Brown is the father of two boys. One is still in high school. I think that what it would do would motivate him more. Brown tells me as a parent, he's excited about this prospect. I've seen some of these kids. I've, I've watched some of these kids grow up from Little League sports, and now they're in high school. If they can make a couple of dollars. If they can get them a new car. If they can help mom and dad out, uh, if they can do stuff for their family, that's what it's all about. A bill regarding high school NIL deals is already being pushed in Alabama. Danny Cordy is the executive director of the Mobile Sports Authority. He says it's something to consider. As a traditionalist, I don't think any of us like it. That's not how we were raised. We played high school sports a lot of times for the love of your school, for the love of the game. But it's just something that, that has evolved. 25 other states already allow high school NIL deals, but there are strict rules, including recruiting guidelines. Many students have already benefited from the deals. But there are others, coaches, legislators, and parents that have reservations. Whether it's about the impact on the sport or the manipulation of the athletes. Even Brown can see some negative possibilities. With everything, there's going to have those people. Those people are going to be out there that's going to try to take advantage of these kids. There will be people that are out there that try to lure them away from schools, that try to, uh, you know, get them focused just on sports and not the academic side of things. Sarah Gale, WEAR News. Now, there are, of course, concerns about this. Many of them. Dan Sugar has been having a number of conversations with a lot of folks about this. It's the talk of the sports world. It, well, it really has been at the high school level. Talk with the coaches going back to last week about this very issue. And uh, the, the athletic directors, coaches, these are guys who, who and women whose careers are built around doing the best things for the kids and helping right. them succeed. And, and the opinions on NIL range from, you know, let's see how it shakes out, to cautiously pessimistic, to this is a terrible idea. We've heard all of them. There are a number of concerns. They range from the practical to the philosophical, makes uh, illegal recruiting that much easier. It almost codifies the ability to uh, you know, pay a player to jump schools, that sort of thing. That's a major concern. The FHSAA, can they enforce it? The executive director of the FHSAA, uh, Craig Damon, already at, when it was asked, what is your chance of being able to enforce you know, non-recruiting and, and uh, the abuse? He said, zero. That was his quote. We can't do anything about it. So that's a huge uh, concern. And also a number of the coaches were concerned about you know, opening the doors for other corrupting influences. A college booster starts recruiting a kid by providing right. NIL money, sophomore, junior year, promising young, uh, young athlete. And, and what have you done? And then on the philosophical side, you know, the origins of NIL were was Ed O'Bannon's lawsuit. The former UCLA basketball player said, "You're using my name and my likeness on EA Sports uh, games, and I'm mm -hmm. not getting anything for it." And so, it, it, how it started was, if you're using your name to, for, to make money for people, then you know, then you should have a piece of that. Well, how many high school athletes are making money for their high schools? Well, that number is right. close to zero. And, you know, high school athletic departments are pretty well strapped anyway. Are you taking some of the money that goes to the athletic programs to fund all sports and funneling it towards athletes? So these are, you know, all questions that have to be answered. College sports have done a terrible job. There are no guardrails on, on you know, on setting up those guardrails to, to make sure it doesn't get abused. And so that's a, a, a huge concern that... You know, the, adults college, are, the college athletes get a lot of exposure, a lot more than a high school. Do you think there's enough? Would there be high school athletes talented enough, well known enough, to actually profit by this and actually sell their name, image, or likeness to somebody who wants to advertise with them? Well, the question is, are there? You know, the, the one way to ask it: Are there athletes at the high school level who are who are uh, promising enough or talented right. enough to be recruited to another school, which is illicit in itself? That goes on. That's going on. You know, since since I was young, and that's a long, long time. <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, so if that's going on, then obviously this is another vehicle maybe to advance that. Those are all concerns. And again, these are coaches and athletic directors say, I want to provide for our kids, help them succeed. But 
how do we set up the guardrails? We haven't done that yet in any of the implementations of NIL at the college level, and the concern is how much harder would that be at the high school? Well, at least Florida has in a position to see what the other states have already approved this, and the problems that they run into, and learn from that, perhaps. Well, I mean, there's even, I've heard a concern that, that there's, you know, our, our, Florida, our Florida athletes going to jump to Georgia or jump to Alabama if they get it. Um, that's a concern. If the money's right, why not? Well, you know, that, that, could, that certainly is, is, is a possibility there. Is that a bad thing? I mean, that's, that's, that, may be a, that might be carbon neutral. But, you know, athletic departments at the high school level have enough trouble raising enough money them, themselves. I mean, I have had coaches say, you know, we win this week and we go to the next round of the playoffs, we, you know, we got to go fundraise just to be able to make the trip. We don't have Those the are the things there. they deal with. Those problems could get a little bit harder along the way or maybe a lot harder. All we'll right. See. Doesn't sound like this is going to be the last of this conversation. No, we'll talk, we'll Thank talk you, Dan. later. Thank you, Dan.